Hello, it's Faith from Paris Ontario. Hope everybody's well. Aries, sorry for the delay. It's finally time for your May reading. We finally got some caffeine in me and a burst of energy, so we're going to go ahead and get this done tonight. I might even read a couple for June. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of froggy, but eventually the family has to get to bed because though today was Memorial Day here in the United States, um, we have to go back to our normal lives tomorrow. So everybody's getting up early and doing their thing and getting stuff done and, you know, what we do around here at the Fire Sign Tarot House. Anyway, Aries, this would be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Ve If I can make words work right now, maybe I need another cup of coffee. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for May 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think it might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here and I'm glad you stopped by today. Thanks for coming down. Okay. Two quick things before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you. Aries 1, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good practice, and I don't recommend it. Two, if it's not your reading, not your message, not your story, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and it can't relate to your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. That's all you got to do. It might not be yours. It's... It's not going to be for every Aries every time. That's not how tarot works. It's a general reading. So if it's not for you, it's not for you. We'll try again next time. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May of 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Aries, why are you here? Two of Pentacles. What is going on? I love this Two of Pentacles, by the way. I, I'm into, like, that, that industrial era steampunk stuff anyway. Totally into it, but... That looks like a very windy day, a very big dress, and a very off-balance unicycle, let me tell you. I don't think it's technically a unicycle. It does have two wheels, but... The winds of change are blowing in. It's what occurs between that first initial offer and building the foundation of something freaking fantastic. It's that stage where you're asking yourself all the questions, trying to balance things out, get everything into place. Aries, what's going on? What happened? Ten of Cups! Well, that was bliss. Think about this Ten of Cups, though, which I think is true in any true Ten of Cups story. They're not always all upright all the time, are they? When it's bliss, it hasn't always been bliss. And it isn't always going to be bliss. But that's part of bliss. That's when you know it's real. Ace of Wands verse. something get started high priestess that's my girl I like her she speaks of intuition it's like that 5d stuff not thinking with your head not thinking with your heart not thinking with other places thinking with your intuition using it being in tune with what source needs you to be in tune with and listening to what source needs you to hear. Aries, are you listening? Knight of Pentacles coming in and the Page of Wands. Hmm. 
Emperor Jacquard. Jacquard, here he is. Jacquard. I will not blow away in the wind, for I'm the Emperor. I am Lord of the Manor, King of my castle. It shall be my way and my way alone. I don't know if it's the monocle or those shoes in this card, but he's just... He couldn't be straighter backed if you taped a ruler to his spine. Seriously. Very stoic looking. Kind of funny. My grandpa used to hold his thumbs like that when I knew I was in trouble. So, <laughs> I am the lord of my manor. I'll throw some clarifiers on that in a second. Chariot reversed. Hmm. Return to bliss. And swords reversed. Not giving it a second thought. Three of Wands, waiting for the ship to come in. Page of Cups on top of the Knight of Pentacles. The Six of Wands on top of the Page of Wands. Aries! Holy cow! Holy cow! Universe, Source, and Spirit, before I speak anymore, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Aries, please? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May Knight of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles reversed. Anybody else hear crickets? One more on that from Knight of Cups. Five of Swords. That's what I was afraid of. Sometimes you just gotta throw another one on there and see if it makes sense. Aries, it's okay to be selfish. It is. It's okay. It's okay to put yourself at the head of the pack. It's okay to be large and in charge of your empire. It's okay to have a yardstick taped to your spine. It's okay. As long as you're not a complete jerk about it. But just hear me out. 
it's even okay at, at some points to be completely unapologetic, but what happened here? What happened here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Magician reversed. Why the Magician reversed? Ace of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. Something didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Why the chariot reversed? It's cocked upright, so I'm going to take it upright. not always supposed to be bliss. That's part of bliss. But why the Ten Pentacles? The lovers it was a choice. I think someone got guilt, a little bit jilted here. Something didn't wait, work out the way you wanted it to work out. I think somebody may have been chasing coins and I don't think it was you. Can I get one more on this page of pentacles up here? I don't normally bounce around, but I need one more on this page of pentacles up top. Thank you. Page of wands reversed. Page of wands reversed. Dump the cup in the sugar bowl. Weren't sorry you did it either. And somebody may have been manipulative with emotions too. I think they used every trick they had to try to hang on to you. You weren't having it. I think you figured it out very quickly. Hmm. But we were so happy together. Why is this Ace of Wands reversed here? Really? Get stuck on my pants? The moon! Of course the moon card comes up again. Did everybody get the moon card at least once this time? Some of y'all got a, you. Some of y'all got the moon card out of both decks. So... I didn't get started because there was too many unknowns. Too many red flags. I'm just seeing a lawn full of red flags right now. Why the moon? <laughs> Ten of swords. It's painful. You wanted the sun to shine. You didn't want all that pain and junk. You ended it. You ended it in a big hurry. I was like, nope, nope. If you'd rather have that coin, go chase that coin. That's fine. I'm still the lord of my manor, the king of my castle. I am still large and in charge, and it will be my way or it will be no way. And 
why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? Nine of Pentacles reverse. You are giving this a second thought because you knew they were codependent. I call the Nine of Pentacles reverse my money grabber gold digger card. I ain't saying they gold digger. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Seven of Cups reversed. They're not even an option. The Emperor comes up again. I am Lord of my manor, king of my castle. My will shall be my way. It is what it is. Take it or leave it. I don't care. And I'm going to have a salty attitude about it, but I do miss you. And there's the catch right there. There's the catch. You miss them a little bit. Not enough because they're still out in the cold. Why is the high priestess here? Death. Listening to one's intuition. Evolving spiritually, allowing something to come to an end that really needed to come to an end. One more on this death card. Shadow side, the devil card. In the reverse. Using your intuition. Allowing something to come to an end. Disconnecting from something that was toxic. Probably, definitely on the codependent side. At the very least, you weren't thrilled about it. Why is three of wands here? Karma reversed. And justice. You're almost waiting for him to come back around so you can drop the hammer one more time. Wow. Ruthless. I like it. A little bit. I'm not a hostile person, but... And I don't know what they did to you, but... Just get my fur all up. Let me tell you. I don't like being a hostile person. Alright. It's coming in the future. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Three of Cups. Why the three? Okay, High Priestess Reverse. That's, or the High Priest Reverse. That's fine. They may be coming back with an apology. It's not a, I want a blessed union with you. I want to try again apology, I don't think, but... More of a peace offering. Let's have a chat. Let's try to be friends. Why is the Page of Cups here? Seven Pentacles reversed. I mean, it's a page of cups, and it's a seven of pentacles in the reverse. Why the seven of pentacles reversed? Four of pentacles. And holding on to some deep feelings. Sitting on them, stepping on them. Not wanting to let him go. But you don't have the patience for it. You still hold a little bit of a cup. There's still a little bit of emotion there, but you don't have the patience for it. Why the Four of Pentacles? Oh, then 
the King of Wands. Okay, well, that's an interesting place for you to show up. Mm. Aries. Wow. I mean, sugar and spice and all things nice. It's up to you what you do. No judgment here. Mm. There's definitely some kind of feelings there. Anyway. Mm. Why is the page of wands here? No judgment here. Mm -mm. Nine of swords reversed. Queen of cups reversed. Knight of Swords Upright. I think at the very least an honest conversation is going to happen. Most definitely if it hasn't happened already. Aries, let me know. Okay, I'm going to get your advice. I... Whatever happens after that conversation... Again, I'll say it one more time. No judgment out of me. Do I see y'all getting back together? No. I don't. I don't see it. I... The emotion isn't mutual enough. You disconnected from what was toxic. I don't see you going back into something that could be potentially toxic. Even if this person has changed and evolved. Again, it's up to you. Do what you want to do, Aries. I do see a return. I do see communication. I do see honest conversations. I don't see the emotion in you being all wrapped up in it again. I don't. I just don't. I don't think you were all wrapped up in it from the get-go, or at least not outwardly. If you were, you were keeping it to yourself. I've known a few areas to do that from time to time. So, All right, let's get your advice. Strength reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. If you don't trust the person, don't trust the cup. If there's even a little bit of you that says hold back, listen to that intuition right now. There's even a little bit of you. It's not even the voice in your head. It's more of the, the pull, like right in here. Like, you'll feel it in here before you think it up here. You know it in here. You'll feel it in here. You just have to be willing to listen. You just got to know what intuition tug is tugging. Know what I'm saying? You'll know. You'll know. If you don't trust it, don't do it. Moon reversed in the King of Swords again. Till they come back honest. And you know you're not going to be going down a misty trail to a fun house in the woods somewhere full of mirrors where everything is obscured and nothing's the way it really is. Don't do it. And don't be afraid to say, I'm not doing this. And Aries, not that you've ever been afraid to open your mouth, but don't be afraid to open your mouth. Page of Cups reversed in the chariot. Keep your distance if you have to. Don't reciprocate that text or that, you know, don't pick up the phone. Don't. Don't pick up the phone. <laughs> don't send the text back. Keep your distance if you have to. If even a little bit of you says don't act on it, don't act on it. It's probably the best advice the cards could give you. Two of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. I gotta put two more on that. Queen of Wands and Three of Wands reversed.
It's a process. You can either wait at the dock or walk away from it. You can either hang on or you can let go and start walking toward your Ten Pentacles. It's a process and it's very slow moving. Aries, I know you're not into that. I know you're not into that. Aries, don't do anything slowly. Never. This is a process. But if you want this, if you want that new start and things that are more productive, you have to be willing to let go of what happened. Don't wait at the dock for a ship that's not going to come in. And sometimes the advice has absolutely nothing to do with anything in the reading. I just feel compelled to say this. Don't wait at the dock for the ship that's not going to come in because you're worth more than that. When the time is right, go back down to the dock, call in your ship. If the time's not right, the time's not right. All right, Aries. And with that, I will end the month of May. And on Wednesday morning, I will begin the month of June. Maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. I, I'm i not going to lie, guys. I'm a little bit spent. So just let me know if it resonated or made sense. Because the, these late month readings, I know, I know. I'm a pain in the butt. I'm sorry. Life just keeps happening to me month after month. I'm really trying to get a handle on it. But... <sighs> It happens. Be blessed, guys. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for your patience. You know I love you, my fire sign brothers and sisters. And I will catch you next month.